Hello, good afternoon, mga kalakot, sir. Ha? This afternoon, it's going to be a date with my niece, my eldest niece, Julie, and my two grandsons, King and Keith. We will be watching Martyr or Murderer. My youngest grandson said, nga dili siya pwede kakuyog daw because he has a project to do. So, uh, he was trying to decline my our invitation but according but I said Keith kailangan talaga mo tanaw ka na ingon niya na man sa Google Grant pwede man na ako mag Google ko ayaw Keith mas maay nang makita yun ni mo ang film by yourself before na yung mga inputs kang makuha from other sources para ikaw yun ni mo mismo ang mag judge of the film no? perhaps bata pa ka wala pa ka ayun na sa imong consciousness but eventually when you grow old uh, on the right age dira ni mo makita ang relevance ng film kasi we already have heard and seen the side of uh, the Aquinos and it takes another 37 years before makita nato ang the other side this time about the Marcos life we watch naman good katong Made in Malacanang, and this is the second uh, installment, and we want to complete the three uh, installments. This is the second one, and it is very important sa mga bata na makita nila because, as I said, no one has the monopoly of the truth. History is evolving, so I want my grandchildren to watch the film, and sila na mismo ang mag hatag o conclusion. Ang importante, they were given information because uh, this is there is no, as far as I'm concerned, concerned wala ay gina revise na history. It's only a rectification. By saying rectif rectification, kailangan makakita, makakita sa dasa life ng mga Marcoses during their exile when they were booted out from Malacanang para at least sila na mismo ang maghatag maglay down sa conclusion we should respect the the, the children ako mga pagumang ko na ako apo in gathering facts ang importante tagaan talaga sila chance of more information may it be in creative arts or books but just don't ano, in, trust on mga goggles mga goggles uh, research mga ina na sa mga Wikipedia ang importante if you have the source resources kailangan you have to avail for it okay so you better stand by mga kalakwat sera kasi manunood kami ngayon ng martyr and or a murderer sa Ayala thank you We are here in Ayala Black, Ayala Mall Cinema 4. It's in Ayala Mall Cinema 4. We'll be watching Martyr and Murder. Hello, good afternoon mga kalapwat Sarah. We'll be watching the film at 6.25 p.m. because we arrived late. Supposedly, it's a 4.05 but we came late because of the heavy traffic. We need to watch this film, especially I've, I've really invited my grandsons because I want them to watch the film and judge for themselves. I, don't, I will not uh, brainwash or spoon feed what I have in mind, I will let them draw out the conclusion because no one has the monopoly of knowledge. History is evolving. It is a man's story. And this story should be availed by not, not only by certain sectors, but the entire Filipino who is uh, lovers of uh, cinema at this time and also those who are aware and involved 
in our history as a Filipino. So, panoorin po natin, martyr and martyr. I am here right now in Ayala Mall Cinema 4, but I'm going to watch it at 6.25 p.m. later because I came late because of the heavy traffic here in my beloved city of Cebu. Thank you. Tanong kuya, please. Tanong na rin. Kapit ko yan. Kapit ko yan. Okay, mga kalakwatsera, we have just uh, watched the, the movie Martyr or Murderer. Sa title pa lang niya, it's very catchy, but you really need to watch the film para you will get the answer. Kasi medyo tricky. Uh, tricky kaayo ang question as well as the title itself. So this is my personal and honest review about the film for me it was a bit dragging dragging siya na pelikula compared to uh, made in Malacanang there are some unnecessary scenes that have just prolonged the scene unnecessary tawag na unnecessary yung mga pili mga scenes na yon i don't know why they have to put it on on those particular scenes that are really unnecessary at saka if you have read uh, articles about Ninoy or Marcos you will never know you will no longer be surprised kasi yung ipinakita naman sa mga scenes na yun is was in the newspaper was in television even ang panahon pa ng ni Cory Aquino so I was no longer surprised. Kaya lang, what was surprising is the high, uh, mas detalyado ang ugali, ang pagkatao ni Ninoy that was not even shown or discussed previously when he was still alive or after his death because we thought, we were taught repeatedly that Ninoy was a pious, a martyr, a very good man, but... Depende yan, no? Depende yan sa point of view ninyo. There was a, a, an adjective referring Ninoy as a male chauvinist that is according to Corey. Corey it, was, it was printed in Times Magazine uh, during her interview. So, walang argumento doon. But you have to remember, iba ang panahon ni na Corey noon, no? Na ang babae talaga were designed to stay in the house and be a baby maker not as a public ser servant. Yon talaga ang, uh, ang pagkatao ni Ninoy, no? He was really a very proud man, ambitioso, which is really very true. Ambitioso talaga siya. And his mind was really setting on presidency. Kaya lang, di ba, ang presidency is a matter of destiny. And as to who really killed Ninoy, tatlo doon. Although it was not detailed, kung ikaw, if you have read, again, if you are familiar with the history, tatlo doon, I, I, I concluded that uh, it was either the NPA, it was uh, Dangding Kuwangko or Fabian Ver, although mga pictures lang ang nandoon and parang mga inuindos na lang. So, wala talagang, wala talagang uh, direct reference to whoever killed, but there was a suggestive 
instances and name as to who really killed Ninoy. Kaya lang medyo yung ooy yung ano yung, dahil sa selos daw nagselos. I mean it's very petty parang to the extent na nakakatawa na siya. The film for me is about the 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 experience of Amy and who can argue with the experience of a person that is living. That is a narrative from Amy's point of view. Yung yung nang nakakaawa lang talaga is which was really true is when Amy uh, uh, was away from his her father when her father died she was still in Morocco and she was in fact was not allowed by Cory to return to United States even closed down the Philippine embassy in Morocco para hindi nga makauwi maka-apply or travel si Amy to United States that is true so I still want and invite everybody to watch the film. I understand ang mga grandsons na ko cannot really empathize with the film kasi hindi na alam nila ang mga personality involved, no? Mga kabataan ngayon. Kaya lang, I still bring them together with my niece Julie. Si Julie alam na niya at least may mga idea na siya kasi aside from she has read, nakita na niya sa television yung pangyayari sa EDSA, post and EDSA revolution. While my grandsons, wala talaga silang idea. But it's it's better na they have seen the film. Sila na mismo ang ma-judge. Because nobody has the monopoly of the truth. Yan ang maganda ngayon. Everyone has... Uh, we are all free to get information. Nasa atin na talaga how to filter the informa information that we receive or we read or we watch. Nasa atin na yun. Unlike before talaga na we are repeatedly being fed of, uh, of information na to the extent na, 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 na parang ang tingin natin sa mga tao ang martyr, heroes, pious, and saints. At least ngayon talaga, naririnig na natin ang side ng mga Marcoses that was deprived from us for 37 years. So okay lang, panoorin natin ang mga pelikula. Pelikulang, panoorin natin yung Oras de Peligro Panoorin natin yung Ako si Ninoy Those are few, uh, uh, cre uh, mga Creativity na mga Filipinos And narratives That needs to be shown And be To be shown especially na mga kabataan Whatever opinion you have Should be respected Ang importante Vibrant and democracy natin At lahat ay malayang nakakapagha pahayag ng kanilang opinion through cinema. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to watch the film Martyr or Murder. Still showing on the theater nearest you. I live in Cebu at napanood ko yan dito sa Ayala Black. And thank you very much kasi treat yan ang pamangkin ko na si Julie. It was a free ticket from my, my niece Julie. And we have seen uh, made in Malacanang This one is my dear There's the next one coming Yung mom uh, Mabuhay Aloha ano, Mabuhay mo Ganon that, The third and the last in, uh, Installment Pero Mas gusto ko pa rin yung Made in Malacanang Perhaps kasi Mas ano yun Mas, mas agresibo Mas matapang Mas revealing But this one Medyo I find it a little bit Dragging Pero okay pa rin siya Kasi importante there was sen ano, there was com comedic part with the two maids at the same time yung mga bagong information though na read na nabasa ko na nakita ko na sa mga documentary noon but it's still iba pa rin yung there is a reenactment by cinematic uh, license na cinematic license kaya panoorin po ninyo a uh, martyr or murderer at least unti-unting nabubuhay ang Philippine movie industry kailangan natin yan have a blessed day sa ating lahat. Thank you very much.